Hey everyone, here's a question from exercise 12.3. The question is, Saina pays rupees 15,000 as a rent for 3 months. How much does she have to pay for a whole year if the rent per month remains the same? So here they're asking how much money she is paying for the whole year, that is at 12 months in whole year. And she has paid for 3 months and the rent is 15,000. So to get the answer for the 12 months, we should know the price for like the rent for the one month. So here we have to use the unitary method. So how to find out the cost or the rent for the one month? So it's very simple. We're going to equate what we know from the question. So from here, we're going to get to know which number to divide with what number. So here they have given three months. For three months, it is 15,000. Rupees 15,000, right? So here, uh, we want to find out for the month. So whatever number you have here transposes. So this transportation, so this transpose method you have learned in your lower classes, or maybe in sixth class you have learned how to use a transpose method when you send the number for multiplication to the other side goes to division. Here also it goes to division. So month will be equal to. So month means it's a it's one month. So one month is equal to rupees fifteen thousand divided by three. You can cancel this. Three ones are three. Three fives are fifteen. So we have three zeros. So put this three zeros. So we'll get five thousand. So for one month, she's paying five thousand rupees as a rent. So I hope it's clear which number we're dividing with what. This is just to avoid the confusion, and you'll have a clear idea what number we're dividing. And let's see write this what we know from the question. I'm gonna write down uh, the given thing. So given, let's given the question. Rent paid. rent paid by Saina for three months is equal to rupees 15,000. Now we have already calculated here it is 5,000 right. So therefore rent paid for one month will be equal to it is rupees 15,000 divided by 3 which is equal to rupees 5,000. So she is paying 5,000 rupees as a rent for each month. Now we have to find out here for whole year. Whole year means at 12 months. So therefore rent paid for whole year or for 12 months, you can add on anything, for 12 months will be equal to, we know for one month it is 5000, for 12 months it will be 12 multiplied by 5000. So 12 fives up is 60. So 60 and there are three zeros here, write down those three zeros. So 60,000, so she is paying 60,000 rupees as a rent for the whole year. So that's it, I hope this question is clear. In case you have any other question or doubt, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.